Isaiah Chapter 64 Oh that you would rend the heavens, that you would come down that the mountains would shake at your presence. Like fire that kindles brushwood, like fire that causes water to boil, to make your name known to your adversaries, that the nations may tremble at your presence. When you did awesome things that we did not expect, you came down, the mountains shook at your presence. For from of old, men have not heard, nor perceived with the ear, neither has I seen a God besides you, who acts for him who waits for him. You meet him who rejoices and does righteousness, those who remember you in your ways. Yes, you were angry, for we sinned, we have been in them for a long time, and shall we be saved? For all of us became like him who is unclean, and all our righteousnesses are like a soiled garment, and we all wither like a leaf, and our iniquities, like the wind, carry us away. And there is no one who calls upon your name, who stirs himself up to lay hold of you, for you have hidden your face from us and have consumed us by our iniquities. But now, Jehovah, you are our father, we are the clay, and you, our potter, and all of us are the work of your hand. Do not be angry to an extreme, O Jehovah, neither remember iniquity forever, look now, we pray, we all are your people. Your holy cities have become a wilderness, Zion is a wilderness, Jerusalem a desolation. Our holy and beautiful house, where our fathers praised you, is burned with fire, and all the things that we delighted in have become a ruin. Will you restrain yourself from these, O Jehovah? Will you keep silent and afflict us to an extreme? Isaiah Chapter 65 I let myself be inquired of by those who did not ask for me, and found by those who did not seek me. I said, Here I am, here I am, to a nation that was not called by my name. I have stretched out my hands all day long to a rebellious people, who walk in a way that is not good, after their own thoughts. A people who provoke me to anger to my face continually, who sacrifice in gardens and burn incense upon the bricks. Who sit among the graves and lodge overnight in the secret places, who eat swine's flesh and the broth of abominations in their pots. Who say, Keep to yourself, do not come near me, for I am holier than you. These are smoke in my nose, a fire that burns all day. It is written here before me, I will not keep silent without first recompensing, and I will recompense, into their bosom. Your iniquities and the iniquities of your fathers together, says Jehovah, who have burned incense upon the mountains and have scorned me upon the hills, therefore I will measure their work first into their bosom. Thus says Jehovah, as the new wine is found in the cluster, and someone says, Do not destroy it, for there is a blessing in it, so will I do for my servant's sake, in order not to destroy them all. And I will bring forth a seed out of Jacob, and out of Judah one who will possess my mountain, and my chosen ones will possess it, and my servants will dwell there. And Sharon will be an abode for the flock, and the valley of Acre a resting place for the herd, for my people who have sought me. But you who forsake Jehovah, who forget my holy mountain, who prepare a table to fortune and fill vessels with drink offerings to destiny. I will destine you to the sword, and you all will bow down to the slaughter, because I called you, but you did not answer, I spoke, but you did not listen, but you did evil in my sight and chose that in which I did not delight. Therefore thus says the Lord Jehovah, Indeed, my servants shall eat, but you shall hunger, indeed, my servants shall drink, but you shall thirst, indeed, my servants shall rejoice, but you shall be put to shame. Indeed, my servants shall give a ringing shout because of a heart of joy, but you shall cry out because of a heart of pain, and because of a broken spirit you shall wail. And you will leave your name as a curse to my chosen ones, and the Lord Jehovah will slay you, and he will call his servants by another name. So that he who blesses himself in the earth will bless himself in the God of faithfulness, 
and he who swears in the earth will swear by the God of faithfulness, because the former troubles are forgotten and because they are hidden from my sight. For I am now creating new heavens and a new earth, and the former things will not be remembered, nor will they come up in the heart. But rejoice and exult forever, in what I create, for I am now creating Jerusalem as an exultation and her people as a rejoicing. And I will exult in Jerusalem and rejoice in my people, and there will no longer be heard in her the voice of weeping and the voice of crying. There will no longer be in her an infant who reaches the age of only a few days nor an old man who does not fill up his days, for the lad will die at a hundred years of age, and the sinner, being a hundred years of age, will be cursed. And they will build houses and inhabit them, and they will plant vineyards and eat their fruit. They will not build and another inhabit, they will not plant and another eat, for like the days of a tree are the days of my people, and my chosen ones will enjoy the work of their hands to the full. They will not labor in vain, nor bear children unto turmoil, for they are the seed of those blessed of Jehovah, and their offspring with them. And it will be that before they call, I will answer, even while they are speaking, I will hear. The wolf and the lamb will feed as one, and the lion will eat straw like the ox, and dust will be the serpent's food, they will not harm nor destroy in all my holy mountain, says Jehovah. Isaiah Chapter 66 Thus says Jehovah, Heaven is my throne, and the earth the footstool for my feet. Where then is the house that you will build for me, and where is the place of my rest? For all these things my hand has made, and so all these things have come into being, declares Jehovah. But to this kind of man will I look, to him who is poor and of a contrite spirit, and who trembles at my word. He who kills an ox is like him who slays a man, he who sacrifices a lamb, like him who breaks a dog's neck, he who offers a meal offering is like him who offers the blood of swine, he who burns incense is like him who blesses an idol. As surely as they have chosen their own ways, and their soul delights in their abominations. Just as surely I will choose what will treat them ill, and I will bring upon them what they dread, because I called, but no one answered, I spoke, but they did not listen, but they did evil in my sight, and chose that in which I did not delight. Hear the word of Jehovah, you who tremble at his word, your brothers who hate you, who cast you out because of my name, said, Let Jehovah be glorified so that we may see your joy. But they will be put to shame. A voice of tumult from the city. A voice from the temple. The voice of Jehovah giving full recompense to his enemies. Before she travailed, she brought forth, before her pain came, she gave birth to a man. Who has heard of such a thing? Who has seen such things? Can a land be born in one day? Or can a nation be brought forth all at once? For as soon as Zion travailed, she brought forth her children. Shall I bring to the point of birth and not cause to bring forth? Says Jehovah. Or shall I who cause to bring forth shut the womb? Says your God. Be joyful with Jerusalem and exult for her, all you who love her, rejoice with her in joy, all you who mourn over her. So that you may nurse and be satisfied with her breasts of consolations, so that you may draw out from her and take excellent delight in the abundance of her glory. For thus says Jehovah, I now am extending to her peace like a river, and the glory of the nations like an overflowing stream, and you will nurse, you will be carried on the hip, and you will be bounced on the knees. As one whom his mother comforts, so will I comfort you, and you will be comforted in Jerusalem. And you will see this, and your heart will rejoice, and your bones will flourish like new grass, and the hand of Jehovah will be made known to his servants, and he will be indignant toward his enemies. For behold, Jehovah will come with fire, and his chariots will be like a whirlwind, 
to render his anger with fury in his rebuke with flames of fire. For with fire Jehovah will execute judgment, and with his sword, upon all flesh, and those slain by Jehovah will be many. Those who sanctify and purify themselves for the gardens, following after one in the midst, eating swine's flesh and what is abominable and even mice, will come to an end together, declares Jehovah. But I their works and their thoughts I will repay, the time is coming to gather all the nations and tongues, and they will come and see my glory. And I will set a sign among them and will send those who have escaped from them unto the nations, to Tarshish, Put, and Lud, to those who draw the bow, to Tubal and Javan, to the distant coastlands that have not heard my fame nor seen my glory, and they will declare my glory among the nations. And they will bring all your brothers from all the nations as a meal offering to Jehovah, on horses, and in chariots and in wagons and on mules and on camels, to my holy mountain, Jerusalem, says Jehovah, just as the children of Israel bring their meal offering in a clean vessel to the house of Jehovah. And I will also take some of them for priests and for Levites, says Jehovah. For as the new heavens and new earth, which I make, remain before me, declares Jehovah, so will your seed and your name remain. And from new moon to new moon and from Sabbath to Sabbath all flesh will come to bow down before me, says Jehovah. Then they will go forth and look on the carcasses of the men that have transgressed against me, for their worm will not die, nor will their fire be quenched, and they will be in abhorrence to all flesh.